Hi, I'm Kathy Berry, Registered Dietitian with the Fountain of Health. On today's show, we're going to do part two of our five easy weeknight meals. And today we're going to be preparing a salmon roasty, which is a Swiss dish. It's delicious. I really think that you're going to like it. And then we're going to do a Friday night pizza night. And that's going to be really fun. It's going to be something that you can prepare with yourself, friends, with your family, with children. I think you're really going to like it. So stay right there. When we get back, we'll get busy in the kitchen. Let's get busy with this recipe. I found this recipe and I've tweaked it up a couple of times and I think you're really going to like it. We're going to start with some regular um, canned salmon. I like the red salmon. I like the wild salmon. It has a lot of omega-3 and to that, this is the really fun part, we're adding two cups of hash brown potatoes. And um, I think you're really, really going to like that. I chose the kind that have the peppers and the onions. I think it'll give it some more flavor. And uh, we're also going to add some onion. We've got about a half a cup of diced onion. And we're going to whip up um, a couple of omega-3 eggs. We're going to throw those right in there. That guy got a little crazy. And I'm going to mix those around. Now, if you tra traditionally don't like a salmon patty, don't give up on this recipe because this is, this is something special. This has some, um, some different characteristics in it that I think you're really going to like. We're going to add some capers. Capers are pickled flower buds and they are really good. We're going to use some capers for our, in our uh, actual salmon roasty and then we're also going to make a nice sauce that goes with it. We're adding some dill. Now you could use fresh dill. I just am using regular um, dry dill. So that's pretty much the seasonings is just the dill and the capers, the potatoes, the eggs, the salmon and we're going to make nice big patties with this. And I'm going to dredge them in a little bit of um, cornmeal just so they have a nice crunch on the outside and uh, they'll brown up nice and look really pretty on the plate. I'm adding some uh, fresh ground pepper, a little bit of salt but not much because uh, the salmon when it's canned has salt in it. Now what I'm going to prepare these in today is some uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil is the new healthy fat. It is a saturated fat but it does not raise your cholesterol the way that other saturated fats do because of its medium chain triglyceride qualities and it can uh, be burned right at the cellular level. It doesn't have to take a trip to the to the liver. And uh, once things take a trip to the liver, your liver is the boss of fuel and it decides whether you're going to store it as fat or whether you're going to send it back out to the cell and burn. And of course, we don't want to store it as fat. So, And the thing about coconut oil also that's really nice is it has a really nice uh, mild flavor and a very high smoke point. So it's good to bake with, it's good to saute with, it's just a very nice, it's a new healthy kind of oil. So we've got a little bit of uh, coconut oil in there and now I'm just, I'm going to use my hands, all good cooks use their hands and I'm just going to make um, some nice little patties, little, um, you know, just like you would make a hamburger patty and then I'm just going to dredge them a tiny touch in cornmeal. And the reason that I want to do this is just because I think it's going to give it a nice crunch on the outside and just add a little bit of texture. So we're going to pop those in there. I think I might need to turn that up a touch. And this again, this is an easy weeknight meal. All of these recipes, we've got a family of four recipes uh, um, for Monday through Friday and all of the recipes, the total grocery bill is less than $120. This is a great little thing to have in your pantry because you can keep the hash brown potatoes in the freezer, the canned salmon in your pantry. It's very handy to have on hand. Good go-to meal. Um, and I think salmon patties are kind of like a old-fashioned comfort food. So um, it's, a, it's a good recipe. I think you're really going to like it. So we're just going to add a little cornmeal. Now if you don't like cornmeal, um, you could use panko crumbs or you could use um, toasted 
whole wheat bread crumbs, or you could not even use any crumbs if you didn't really want to. But I just think it gives it a nice little, nice little crunch. So I'm going to get four patties in the pan, and we're going to get them sizzling nicely. I think I need to turn that up a touch. And uh, then we are going to just let them cook a while and get a nice crisp touch on them. Look how nice those look. And we're going to serve them with a really nice sauce. It's going to be a, a nice Greek yogurt sauce, and it's going to have lemon and dill and capers in it. And we're just going to make some simple green beans. So it's a very simple dinner, very easy to prepare, and delicious. All righty, we're going to flip these little guys over. Look how pretty they are. I think that cornmeal really does do a nice little trick. We're just going to turn those over. Just let them sizzle along. As long as you cook these at a low heat, they're not going to burn. So just, you know, take your time with them. They're kind of tender. So you want to get that nice crust on the outside so they don't fall apart. And you can, I can smell the capers and the onions in there. They're really, really good. Salmon is just wonder, wonderful, wonderful food for us. It's really high in omega-3s. And part of the reason that I love salmon is um, this guy. This is my dad. And we spent the entire summer in Alaska, and he caught this big king salmon. And I remember that the king's, I mean, it was over 50 pounds, and we had it grilled, and we had it, we had it fried, and we had it, you know, we shared it with all kinds of people that we met and it was just wonderful. And so now that those are cooking and sizzling along, I'm going to make a nice little sauce to go along with it. Um, rather than just a basic tartar sauce, we're going to make something a little more special. So I'm taking some uh, Greek yogurt here. Love Greek yogurt. Um, Greek yogurt is a great high in probiotics and protein. Probiotics really support your immune system. They're also really good for your digestion. So I really, really like Greek yogurt. Um, we're going to use it with some lemon juice. Greek yogurt can also always be substituted for sour cream. It has a delicious flavor. We're going to add some more of that good dill. And we're going to add some more of those uh, capers. So we'll put all that in there. Just mix it up. Now, if you like it spicy, you could add a little dash of that um, sriracha. If you uh, like a traditional kind of more tartar sauce kind of thing, you could add some ketchup. But I just think it's great just like this. I think it's very old school, very traditional with the capers and the uh, dill. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper just to make it palatable. You know, I'm not a classically trained chef. I'm a dietitian. And... Uh, but I do know how to make healthy food taste delicious without adding a lot of salt and fat. And I think really that's the key, is starting out with really good wholesome ingredients and then preparing them in such a way that is delicious and adds to the flavor and the goodness of the food. And you can see our salmon patties here are done to perfection, our salmon roasty. These are Swiss, and Swiss Switzerland borders... Um, a little corner of Switzerland borders Italy and France, so I think that some of their cooking has a lot of those qualities from those other countries. So we're going to just plate these up like this on this. And I, there was there was more. There's there's definitely more in the bowl of the mix. I just prepared four just for you to see, but there's easily enough in there for eight. So um, this is feeds a family of four, and it would be. Two, two nice big patties for each person. So you can see it's really generous. And then I would serve those. I've prepared some just basic green beans. Green beans and salmon are always a good combination. So I've got some nice green beans here that we prepared. All right, so I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to take two of these nice, look how pretty those are. Those are gorgeous. And I'm going to serve them with um, some of this really good dill sauce. I think you're really going to like that. Some lemon, a couple pieces of lemon, and we'll put some of these nice fresh green beans. Well, actually, these are frozen green beans. Once again, when you're at the grocery store and the frozen vegetables are, you know, three for five dollars, load up because they really round out a meal 
And uh, as you can see, now I think that that looks like a great Thursday night, weeknight meal that we whipped up in a jiffy. It's delicious, it's flavorful, and it is incredibly nutritious for you. So hold tight, when we come back, we're gonna make a Friday night pizza night for you and your family that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Welcome back. It's Friday and what is better on a Friday night than making a pizza and watching a movie. So we are going to make a pizza from scratch. It's semi from scratch and uh, I think you're really going to like this. I brought three different kinds of um, crusts and uh, one of the things that's really great about making a pizza, it's one of those things that you can get your kids in the kitchen and you can all make your own pizza. It's great for a bunch of young friends. It's great for high school kids. It's great for young adults. Everyone like, loves pizza, but it's a really social event to have a little, everybody make their own pizza in the kitchen night on Friday. So for those applications, especially for your kids, these little bobolis are really great. They're, they're perfect size. Or you can make a larger one with this. One of my favorite things are these flat out wraps. These, um, this is a light Italian version. This little guy has 90 calories, nine grams of fiber, and nine grams of protein. That's a lot. And it makes a really crispy crust if you like a really crispy crust. So this is great for people who are really mindful of your, your calories and trying to um, get more fiber in your diet. But one of the reasons why I love this um, idea of cooking, you know, having a little pizza party in your kitchen on a Friday night is it gets kids in your kitchen. And when your kids are in the kitchen and they're cooking, then they're going to be more um, adventurous to try more things. If they try more things, they're going to like more fruits, more vegetables, they're going to be healthier. And it just, it's just a wonderful skill to be able to cook. Everybody needs to know how to cook some things. So let's get started with, let's just use the traditional big baboli to make like a family style pizza. So what we're going to do with this guy is instead of the traditional pizza sauce, we're going to use a nice little, um, a nice little uh, layer of pesto. Pesto is um, predominantly made with olive oil, which is really good for us. Um, basil, dark green leafy uh, herb, another thing that's very good for us. It has pine nuts and um, sometimes a little Parmesan cheese. So we're just gonna, we're just, just gonna paint that on there. And I personally think that this pizza is gonna be fabulous because we cooked up some uh, chicken and also a little bit of one link of turkey Italian sausage. So we cooked that all up together so the chicken and the Italian 
um, turkey sausage kind of have the nice fennel Italian flavoring. So we're just gonna we're gonna just put some of that right on there. And uh, we also I've also just uh, threw some um, some baby Bella mushrooms and some diced up onions in a pan with a little bit of uh, olive oil, and we. Um, reduced those and caramelized them, got them nice and toasty brown. So we're going to throw those on top of this um, this chicken and Italian sausage. One of the things that I really like about making the pizza at home is you can really make it healthy and you can add a lot of healthy ingredients rather than just salty red sauce, pepperoni, cheese. We're making something that's kind of special and gourmet and you can, um, you know, have all different kinds of ingredients and get your kids in the kitchen and they make their own and it's really a lot of fun especially on a on a Friday night after everybody's been busy it's just kind of nice to just all gather in the kitchen and have some nice time together and um, or if you don't have kids just with your friends it's just a really fun thing to do everyone loves to cook well everyone doesn't love to cook but everyone can love to cook and it is a really social fun thing to do as a group. So look at that right there already. My goodness. It's already beautiful and we've just got the chicken and the mushrooms and the onion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some red, um, red bell peppers. Red bell peppers are a superfood, really high in antioxidants, really high in vitamin C, as are the onions and the mushrooms. The chicken's really good for you too. I wish that I could find a baboli crust that was whole grain, but this guy is whole grain. So that's that's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw on some um, um, low fat. This is a, a Italian blend cheese. We're just going to throw a little bit of that. We don't need a ton. Throw that on top and a little bit just to make it kicking. A little bit of red pepper flakes and a tiny bit of fresh thyme. So there we go. Our pizza is ready to go in the oven. That was pretty simple, but it is really fun to do that with your kids. So I'm going to pop this in the oven. When we come back, I'm going to bring this out and you're going to see how gorgeous this pie is. <music> Go to www.cdc.gov slash clean hands. So look at these. I made a, a small one because we had plenty of ingredients on one of those uh, flat out wraps. I wanted you to see that as well. So this is um, two very easy, simple pizzas. I'm going to just slice them up. You can see how... You can see how pretty it is. You can't see how pretty it smells, but I promise you it is quite lovely. I really like this little guy because um, the crust is incredibly crispy. It's like that little cracker crust that we love. So here is a piece of that, and then here is a piece of the traditional pizza. I think I need it. I need it. And a spatula here. So there we go. Look at that. So, Friday night, movie and a pizza, there we go. Hope you enjoyed this Cooking for a Week series. All of these recipes, menu, and grocery lists can be found at kcmo.gov and search for Time to Be Well. I'm Kathy Berry with the Fountain of Health. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for taking care of yourself through better nutrition and better living.